The S24 really surprised me with all its new features, so let me show you the coolest tips and tricks so that by the time you're done watching this video, you'll be a total pro. And the very first trick everyone should know is actually hidden inside the internet app. Let's say you're browsing a web page or a wiki page, you'll actually find this brand new AI icon, and if you tap on it, it'll open this summarize feature. And as you can imagine, this reads over the entire article and summarizes it into a couple of points for you so you don't have to read the whole article. Then another trick to make you an S24 Pro is if you go into your gallery and select a few different images, then tap and hold down, you'll notice all the images stack and now you can just go open any other application like WhatsApp for example, then drop them in and now you can instantly share them. I call this drag to share and what's so cool about this as well is it also works in the Samsung internet app. So like if you have a picture or a GIF you saw on the internet and want to share with someone, instead of having to download it or save it, just tap and drag, then open any other application once again, like WhatsApp, drop it in and you can click send. Nice. Okay, now this is really freaking cool and it's what you can do with a new Galaxy AI keyboard. Okay, so let's say you're busy typing out a message to one of your friends. Well, now what you can do is if you tap on the Galaxy AI icon on your keyboard, you'll see these three options, but the best is writing styles. What this does is basically reads over your text and then rewrites it in a couple of different styles, like professional to sound a bit more fancy, casual, there's even a social media style, polite, and emojify that adds emojis. And these writing styles work pretty much anyway on your phone. So if you wanted to, you could actually use it to rewrite a short email. Then right above writing styles is another AI called chat translation. So if you have a friend or client that sends you texts in another language like German, then using this feature, you can quickly translate every single message into English, which is so nifty. And to reply back to them in their language, just type out your message and the Galaxy AI will do all the translating for you, then just click send. Simple dimple. <laughs> there are still so many useful AI features on this bad boy, but before I show you those, I gotta show you some slick camera tricks. So the S24 cameras haven't had that much of an upgrade, but there are three new hidden tricks to it. And the first one is if you open up the camera application, in here, if you then go to more, you'll see this dual record mode. And as you guessed it, with this mode, you can record a video using two of the cameras. But what's especially cool about this mode is if you tap on this little icon over here, it'll open up this menu where you can choose exactly which camera lenses you wanna use. So you can record with the main wide camera and the zoom camera, at the same time. And if you tap this icon, you can actually save both videos separately, which is really nifty for social media. Then for the second hidden camera trick, and this one is really sneaky, inside the Galaxy Store, if you download an app called Camera Assistant, inside that application settings, you'll see this option that's called audio monitoring. And once you turn that on, if you head back to the camera application and into those settings, then scroll down until you see advanced video options. And in here, you can turn on zoom zoom in mic. And now the trick here is to actually connect a pair of Bluetooth earbuds to your S24, because when you record a video now using the camera, whatever the S24 hears, you'll hear through your butts. So if you wanted to listen in on what someone around you was saying, if you just zoom into them while recording a video, you'll actually be able to hear what they are saying through your butts. She has no idea. It is so sneaky, I know, but another thing you could even do is leave your phone near them and again, you'll hear everything. Then for the third hidden camera trick is on your home screen, if you tap and hold down and go into the widgets, you'll now find this brand new camera widget to customize your home screen with. And basically with this sick widget, what you can do is assign a specific camera mode to it. So once you tap on it, it'll actually open up that camera mode you selected. But there are even more tricks to customize this bad boy. So I didn't know I needed this customization feature until I saw it on the S24. It's found inside the clock application. And if you go into one of your alarms and scroll all the way down, you'll find this super cool new alarm background feature. It is so simple to set up. And what's even cooler is you don't have to choose a picture, but you can actually choose a video for the background. So you just click save. And now whenever that alarm goes off, whether it's to wake up, remind you to take your meds, exercise, or anything else, this really cool background will play. And 
I just love how each different background could actually let you know what alarm is going off. And if you're wondering where you can get any of these cool wallpapers from, then check out my website hailsworld.com or I'll have it linked down below. For my next customization trick, you'll have to head into your wallpaper and style settings and into change wallpaper. Because in here, you'll find this new photo ambient wallpaper and when you tap on it, it'll take you straight into your gallery where you can choose any picture. But what is so cool about it is it'll actually add weather effects like rain and snow to your image depending on what the real-time weather is like around you. And it's so cool because in some cases, the rain actually bounces off or snow lands on the animal or person's head Head, it does make it feel like a little realistic. The lock screen clock also got such a cool upgrade because now once you tap on it, if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see these three little dots. And if you tap on it, you can actually choose any font from the Samsung store as your new clock font. There's a bunch of different fonts in the Samsung store, so you can really go crazy and style it to perfectly suit your lock screen. Damn, I love this. <laughs> Okay, now back to some sick new AI features. Did you know that if you tap and hold on the home button, Google's new search AI will open up and scan over your entire screen. And then if you circle anything on that screen, whatever's inside the circle will get searched on Google. This is honestly so useful, especially if you're scrolling through social media and see something you like, you can just zoom in, circle around it, and Google will search it up for you and show you all the results. But believe it or not, there's even more AI inside two apps, notes and voice notes. So this is a pretty sick trick. Inside your notes app, if you have a PDF, you can actually summarize one of the pages by using that Galaxy AI icon. So once you tap it, it'll quickly summarize everything on that page for you in a few seconds. And again, if you just scroll down to another page, hit that Galaxy AI button and summarize, it'll do all the work for you. Such a cool feature. But if you're someone who enjoys making long voice notes, then also not only can you transcribe those voice notes into English within the notes application, but then you can even get a summary of your entire transcribed voice notes. It's pretty crazy with how many useful AI features Samsung has packed into the S24. But now let me show you something new with the display. So by now, I'm pretty sure all of you know that within settings under lock screen and AOD, you can toggle on and always on display. But now what you can also do is turn on show lock screen wallpaper. So instead of having that old boring always on display, you can now jazz it up and display your wallpaper all the time. As you can see, it also looks so sick whenever you unlock your phone. And you don't need to worry about this eating up your battery because the S24 screen is dynamic, so it'll automatically save on battery, just like this dynamic wallpaper you can get from hailsworld.com. But to take the always on display to the next level, you can turn on erase background and then make sure that when to show is on always. Because now if you've got a subject in your wallpaper, like a person or pet, whenever you lock the S24, the background will fade away, but what's important will stand out. But let's kick things up a notch with a few hidden gallery tricks. Now, this is something I haven't seen on any other phone before. Inside the gallery, if you play a normal video like this one, while it's playing, if you tap and hold down, it literally turns into a slow-mo video for as long as you have your finger on the screen. And what's even cooler is this actually works with any video, so it doesn't have to have been filmed with your camera. Even if it's a downloaded video, just tap and hold and for bam. Next, if you take a lot of portrait photos, or even if you don't, then you gotta check this out. In your gallery, if you swipe up on any portrait photo, you'll see this background effect feature. Now, this isn't something new. You've actually been able to change the blur amount and blur effect for a while, but if you tap on somewhere else on the photo, you'll actually see that the S24 will refocus on that spot. I also I really love that there's a couple different blur options you can change to, again, after you've taken the pic. Like the spin one just looks so cool. But there's even more impressive AI inside the editing mode where you'll see that Galaxy AI icon again. And with this AI, you can basically tap to erase anything you don't want in your image or straight up move an entire subject and also retilt your image. Then just press this generate button and the Galaxy AI will work all its magic and fill in any empty or blank spaces <laughs> and basically do its best to make the image look real again. But now let me show you even more pro tricks. So inside the Galaxy Store, if you search for Galaxy Enhance X, you'll find this brand new app by Samsung. And let me just show you how cool this is. 
First, if you open up a video from your gallery, like this one I have of Mike running, for example, once you've chosen the video, you'll see these three settings under it. More specifically, this slow-mo setting, which, as you guessed it, turns and saves your normal video into a slow-mo video, and it does a really good job. What you can also do is choose to upload a landscape photo from your gallery and then turn that into a video by using this 24-hour time-lapse setting. It kind of changes the hue of the shot to make it look like sunrise and sunset, which is actually a lot of fun to play with if you have the right shot. Then there's a few other really cool tools within this app, especially to help you clean up any photos, like removing shadows, for example, cleaning the lens, fixing the blur, sharpening, denoising, and even removing reflections. As you can see, it does such an amazing job. And these are just really cool editing tools that you won't actually find in the standard editor. So definitely check it out. So the S24 comes with three different adaptive settings. And basically what that means is it'll automatically adapt and change to whatever environment you're using it in. And the first setting to turn on is inside the display settings. In here, if you scroll down, you'll find this brand new adaptive color tone setting. Just turn this on. And now the S24 will automatically adjust its screen depending on the type of lighting around you and where you are. For the second adaptive setting, this one is actually hidden and only shows up when you're on a call. So if you swipe down into your quick settings, then tap on mic mode. And over here, you'll see two different settings and I suggest you turn on the voice focus because now what this does is let's say you're out and about in a crowded or noisy area, the voice focus mode will drown out all the background noises so that the other person you're talking to can clearly hear you. Nice. And for the third adaptive setting, this one is found within your battery settings and it is called battery protection mode. In here, you'll see three different settings, but the most important one is called adaptive. And with adaptive battery protection, your S24 will automatically handle its battery power saving all by itself, so you don't even need to think about it. Nice. Okay, now onto some S24 quick tips, and the first one is hidden all the way inside your accessibility settings under vision enhancements right at the bottom called cursor thickness, which as you might have figured, changes the thickness of your cursor, which is a neat little setting to give your S24 that extra custom look. Then if you're someone who often uses hotspots to help your friends out with data, did you know that you can actually head into the settings and actually set up a one-time password for it? So once you turn it on, you'll actually see the one-time password, but as soon as you turn it off and back on again, you got yourself a brand new password. And speaking about security, with all this new AI on the S24, you might want to go into your advanced features and then advanced intelligence, where right at the bottom, you can turn on process data only on device. So now when you use any AI features, it'll all be done directly on your phone and none of it shared anywhere online to Samsung servers. And that gives the S24 that little extra bit of security. But to make it even more secure, I suggest you get a VPN like Surfshark. Because by using Surfshark, you can connect to a different part of the world's internet. And whatever you do on the internet is also hidden so that nobody can pry around and see what you're searching for or track your real location. So it secures your real location and what you're searching on the internet, but besides that, there's another two reasons you should check out Surfshark. And the next reason is that you can use it to watch content that's only available in other countries. Like we all know that Netflix has shows and movies that are only available in other countries, but might not be available in yours. Well, by using Surfshark and connecting to that country's internet, not only will your browsing and location history be super safe, but you'll also get access to all the movies and series available in that country. Pretty sneaky, but so cool. And the fourth reason to get Surfshark is its price. Cause it costs less than a cup of coffee and for all those benefits it comes with, it's so worth it. You can also get it for three months free by using code HAILS at checkout or just scan the QR code. So after seeing all of these tips and tricks, you should be an absolute pro, pro with your S24. But believe it or not, you can find even more tips and tricks in my S24 Ultra video. So make sure you check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.